we're just going to revisit the greenhouse. I've just just got a couple of styrofoam trays there. Not really used for anything at the moment. So here we go. We've got some two of the loofers have popped up in here. Hopefully they'll be grow big enough and I'll be able to plant those ones out. And these are the little tomatoes, little Tommy Sweeties these ones are called. I'll have to probably thin these ones out. Got a few there. And then just in the background, if we can come in, these are little the yellow capsicums. I actually saved all these seeds. It looks like they are starting to come up a little bit. Very promising. So I just have some store-bought basil here. Um, this one's just to be kept in the greenhouse just over winter. Hopefully these will grow nice and big and then I'll be able to just take cuttings and just keep growing my own. I don't really sort of have a lot of luck with growing herbs. <laughs> Maybe because I don't really use a great deal and I sort of forget about them. Just pop those down there. And um, we'll just check in on the catnip. Oh, that's just sprouting in there. Little tiny, tiny little seeds in there, but they're all sprouting. So this is the punnet I had. It was uh, straight vermiculite, and I had the corns in there. So the vermiculite has still got some of the seeds in them, so I'm just going to leave them in here a bit longer. You never know, they might still pop up and germinate. So I guess I got 50% out of what I put in there. And the back here is my zucchinis. I'm just so pleased how big these have gotten. Every one of them has sprouted. And they're getting really big. Hopefully I have a really good success growing with those. I grew some earlier in the year, but they, they got that powdery mildew on them. And uh, I got one big zucchini out of it, but mm, not a great success rate in produce. So we'll give them another go for this year. And I'll just pop these back up the top here. So in this greenhouse, what we've got here is the midget melons. They've finally sprouted. And what it probably just needed a little bit more warm environment but that's okay I mean I don't mind trying to grow things out of season <laughs> and little tiny snapdragons they've all popped up in there as well pretty sure I popped snapdragons in this one too so who knows we'll just have to wait and see I'll just pop the lid back on here because it's a bit of a cold day today. And on this one here was the, ah, that's right, it was the uh, Cosmos seashells in the middle. They've really come along. And also the Cosmos carpet. So they, those two have sprouted. They'll be getting ready. I'll put those out early spring. I'll try and keep them in here as long as I can. Uh, none of the silver dust, the cinerary silver dust has sprouted yet and nor has the yellow capsicum on this side. So that's the home uh, saved seed from there but the yeah the other tray up there from the same packet that I saved. So they're all coming along really well I'm very happy especially with the zucchinis. Yeah. I'll just give them a, just a very light sprinkle of water I'll just pop these oops, I'll just pop the water down the bottom on those Catnip was fine. Oh, and they do have enough water in there. 
And I might just give these just a nice little top up. the lids back on those nice and gentle a little update here on the, the little no dig garden I did and uh, putting the netting over it has uh, worked wonders so far we've already got my radishes that have all come up not very big though. <laughs> and some of my zucchinis. I've got one zucchini here and another one just over the back there. My carrot seed tapes that I put in seems to have uh, taken to it as well. And my Chinese. Uh, Chinese my mini cauliflowers, they all seem to be doing really well as well. And just those two plants in the background, I just put in some um, bok choy. First time growing those ones. So the other netted garden that I had, I planted in the uh, broccoli. And it's actually doing really, really well. Very pleased with that. Coming along very nicely. And just my little baby leaf lettuce. I keep coming out and just cutting off a few leaves. So back in this corner here, uh, it's Chinese cabbage. I thought I'll try and grow some of that as well. And just in the middle here, down in here, that little seed tape I planted for some more carrots. Very interesting. I to have worms dropping from above. <laughs> what are you doing there? Put back in there. The one that just popped up under here too. Nice. Yes, I'm very pleased with this little bed and it's kept the snails out of it. Doing a nice little job. I have plenty of uh, chilies on this plant as well. This one's been going for several years and I've uh, got an abundance of chilies on there which are ready to be harvested. I just got to figure out what I'll make with those. I picked up this gorgeous little garden ornament from the local nursery. And it's a little solar powered one, but you can also run it by battery. And it's just beautiful. When it stops and the shadow stops on the little solar panel, <laughs> it kind of slows down. Once it gets going, it's... Uh, so beautiful. Just uh, waiting for the sun to come back out. <laughs> if you like my video and you like my new garden ornament, please give it a thumbs up. It would really help my channel out and consider subscribing as well. I'd really appreciate that and I'll look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.